So here we are with Gotham Bro. For about the last three days, we've been going through every single Nintendo 64 game. And here we are on W, Wipeout 64. We've been using the same emulator for all the uh, tests, so when this list finally does come out, you might even be able to get a couple more games to work if you try different emulators. James Bond. Ah, Mr. Bond. We have a safety deposit box. Wait. To God and Bro, has this been a long process? Very long process. What were you, were there any games you were surprised at work? Oh uh, yeah, some of the hockey games actually were kind of fun. And I'm not really a big uh, hockey, hockey guy, but they look pretty good. This game plays uh, pretty well. Yeah, this so. plays full speed, wipe out. Yeah, there's probably over a dozen racing games. There's at least one sport game for every sport that runs well, like hockey, football, uh, soccer, like. There's about 10 titles each, right? But yeah. one of the 10 usually works well. And yeah. when this list gets released, you're gonna see which one runs the best. So this is what we do. We have the TV over here. We've been trading off, playing a, a game each. And then over here is the list. And uh, Definitely putting our time and, and effort into this by you know loading them up and playing them for a few minutes each. Not just like, oh, does the menu load? Okay, it loads. And like a lot of the games have like problems. Just, like, and go ahead, oh, okay. So this is what we're doing. So we're, we're going game by game and raise the 120 gig image list. We're using the MuPin 64 Glide. For every single game. For every single game. So there might be games that work with the other emulators, but uh, for now this list is going to be pretty comprehensive with, with what we're doing here. I wanted to mention you're, you're, you're updating the, the original list on yeah. the, the GitHub as well. Yeah, so I got the GitHub list here and um, the GitHub list is in alphabetical order. It's actually correct, but in a track mode, for example, uh, on the image here, like 007 is on the first game on this image, on the on the image here on the Pi, but 007 is under G on this list for GoldenEye. So what I've done is I reordered the list, so it's somewhat in order of the attract mode, and then I've uh, left the notes from, from the GitHub list, and I've added my own column here, and I've color-coded it green, yellow or red. Yellow being that you could probably get it to run better with like an overclock or maybe trying a different emulator. Green being just use it like it is now, it's definitely playable. And then red being, some of the reds might work with other emulators but with the glide it was uh, just too bad, like it wasn't even worth messing with. But um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two sheets here. I'm going to give you the raw sheet that I'm making here. And then I'm gonna make a second sheet where I just export all the green games. And uh, all the green games uh, will be on a separate list so you can just see does this game work or not. And it'll just be one list that you can search through of which games run okay on the Pi 3. You know? Well I would say this game's unplayable, you can show. Yeah. Like this soccer game, for example, this this has audio issues as you can hear. Yeah, it's just and major it's stuttering. slowdown. It, it, it's literally unplayable. It, it runs full speed for a second on the pass, but when there's too many people on screen, it just lags, making it yeah. unplayable. So. And like you hit the controls and it doesn't even work. Yeah, exactly. So World Cup 98, we would put that as a red unplayable. Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't even put that a yellow. That's It's not playable. A yellow game would be like, it stutters, but it's semi-playable. Yeah, we'll see. Go ahead, throw it down. We'll, we'll show them some examples. A lot of these games... This game didn't even launch. Sometimes you got to wait a while. No, we waited like 20 seconds. Yeah, one Jar game we already know works, right? Yeah, we can show them with full speed. We can show a different game. Comment three, comment. So like this game is not lagging in the menu at all. The sound works just fine, the music. Just fix the line, see that big line in the middle of it? On the outside. This game works just fine, no issues at all. Well, it's worms. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a little graphic glitch right there, isn't there? Like no, it's just how the map is. Oh, yeah, it's got a little thing. Randomly generated. And now that I'm done with this list, I have to say that my results are much different than the GitHub's results. So you're going to see a lot of games that they said were unplayable were actually playable. And there's other games that they say are playable that when I played them, they were unplayable. So this is an up-to-date list as of 1-14-2017 that I'll be releasing. And uh, it's going to have all the games. The other thing is uh, Ray's Image has 306 total games on it. This list has 394 games on it. So there are about uh, a little, le about 88, is that right? Yeah, 88 games that are not on Ray's image. But, um, so this one has some, uh, a little bit of audio issue, but. Yeah, I see it's stuttering on the audio, but the graphics are pretty good. But it plays fine. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting a button and look, I'm hitting back and we're going back or forward, forward. Strikes are working. Yeah, and a lot of these fighting games don't work very well for N64, yeah. so this is a good sign that uh, it's working. Probably not the best game in the world, but yeah. Can you do the Xena call, bro? Ah! I'm just the troll off. Yeah, and see Xena on here. It says Xena untested. So now we've tested Xena, and we could say totally playable. So audio, play, play with the audio, right? audio lag. Audio, audio, just audio stuttering. Audio stuttering. Okay. It's a little stuttering on the audio. But the, the gameplay's good. But playable. And that's a green. Yeah, I put that as a green. Well, the problem with the emulation on the Raspberry Pi in general is it, it just doesn't... Uh, and Worms Art again was a green world champion, did not boot. Yeah, that one did good. I'll try it again, the driver champion game. And then uh, we're color coding them after each one. Some of these games that are on this list are Japanese imports, but others are just games that are not on the Ray's image. So you could probably go find these games and then add them, and they might, they may or may not work. But I'm just doing for this video. We're just um, doing what's on the list. But uh, for example, wow, we're on the last game. Look at that. We're on the last game when we're making this video. Three days of work. So what? So games you could get that are not Japanese games that were just not on this image or tested are like Tamagotchi 64, um, Superman horrible game. Another one, Super Robot War 64 and Super Robot Spirits, not on the image and untested on the sheet. So there's about 30, 30 titles or so that aren't on here, but other than that, that's a full, full list. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe so you get a notification the minute we post this video. And uh, here's the last game, Yoshi's Story. Really good graphics, no audio lag, good sound. The music plays really well. So here's another A game that, to, uh, green A, whatever you want to give it, we give it a thumbs up, that runs well. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.